This is Jupiter Today for the 27th of January, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant one, heading east. Europa has just passed its eastern elongation and starts the day in quadrant two, heading west, and we'll be doing that most of the day. Ganymede spends nearly all day in quadrant three, heading west, and Callisto is also in quadrant three, heading west. So actually, at the end of the day, everybody's going to be in quadrant three, heading west. At six hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant one, heading east, but near its eastern elongation. Europa is now firmly in quadrant two, heading west. Twelve hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant two, heading west. And by 18 hours UTC, EO is nearly going to be transiting Jupiter from Earth's point of view. This blue line is the line of sight to Earth, and the gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. This angle is the phase angle, and it's been getting smaller and smaller as we move towards opposition on February 6th. So by 18 hours UTC, EO is going to be transiting. Europa is still in quadrant 2 heading west, but also going to be transiting soon. And by zero hours UTC, EO and Europa have successfully transited Jupiter. There are eight Jupiter satellite events today. Towards the end of the day, at 1733 UTC, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 1747, the transit of EO begins. At 1946 UTC, the shadow of Europa ingresses. At 1950, the shadow of EO egresses. At 2005 UTC, the transit of EO ends. At 2016, the transit of Europa begins. At 2241 UTC, the shadow of Europa egresses. And at 2311 UTC, the transit of Europa ends. So between 1946 and 1950, that's only four minutes, but the shadows of both Europa and Io are going to be on the face of Jupiter. And there are no satellite mutual events today. So we can move right on to 24 hours of Jupiter sky. And we're standing on the equator of Jupiter, just above the clouds. And we're gonna see what the sky looks like over the next 24 hours. Jupiter rotates a couple times over a 24 hour period. You can see the Ganymede is slowly catching up to Callisto. That's gonna be a nice alignment. It's always fun to see the minor moons doing their dance around Jupiter. You can see that most of them are moving faster than Io, which implies that they're closer to Jupiter than Io. There's a nice alignment of Io and Europa. Sure wish somebody could see that. And there goes Ganymede and Callisto. Pretty good alignments today. No human eye will ever see him, though. Maybe someday. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today. First is at 417, and the second is at 1413 UTC. There were no new images, but there was some new radio data taken on the 24th of January, and there were no new papers. 
So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, 26 minutes, 13.8 seconds, and a declination of positive 16 degrees, four minutes, 20.5 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 167.631 degrees, and that's 1.14 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. And that change in angle hasn't changed in three days. So we're getting very, very close to opposition. The phase angle continues to get less and less. Today it's 2.266 degrees, and that's 0 0.206 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter continues to get less and less as the Earth moves around the Sun. Today it's 652,678,207 kilometers, and that's 506,400 kilometers less than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 21,100 kilometers per hour and that's 1,918.58 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun continues to get greater every day. Today it's 797,189,478 kilometers, and that's 46,703 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday, and that gives a velocity between the Sun and Jupiter of 1,945.96 kilometers per hour with Jupiter moving away from the Sun at that velocity and that's 6.17 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1 205.71 degrees CM2 302.81 degrees and CM3 208.48 degrees. The time of this recording is 1.23 UTC on the 27th of January 2015. So please subscribe. Thanks for subscribing, those who are. Hope you're enjoying the daily podcast. Hope the information is interesting and useful. You can send your images or comments and questions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.